all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you and happy thanksgiving for all of us first before we start talking about the stupid topic we have in front of us which is nothing but faith i would like to encourage all of us uh, not only in america all us all of us around the world to celebrate what it's called thanksgiving because every day should be a thanksgiving to god don't celebrate thanksgiving in a certain day every day should be thankful and we should appreciate what we have even if you are very poor because who said that the one who is rich is happy maybe you are more happy than him be thankful for what you have for what you have is going to be taken from you even if it's little if you are not thankful for uh, very important very important be thankful a person who do not appreciate what he have and this is what the Bible teach us you know if you don't appreciate what is given to you will be taken from you if you think it's not important well why we will give it to you let us have it back so let us be thankful to the Lord and may the Lord bless us and he give us what we deserve for we are being thankful and we appreciate what he have even if it's a piece of bread on the table remember there's some people don't even have it if you have a roof in the top of you remember there is some people sleep in the street be thankful always be thankful today our topic is about something very disgusting very filthy it is about Islam again let us say Islam hit again the madness of Islam cannot stop anywhere cannot stop this is a sheikh He's very well known. His name is Sheikh Saeed Nu'man. He was a member of the fatwa uh, of the sheikhs of Al-Azhar University. Right now, he is not. And this guy, he had an interview with an Islamic TV in Egypt. And during the interview, he said, he made the fatwa. And for those who do not know what fatwa mean, it mean a holy uh, decision, which means decision made by Islamic law, made by Muhammad. So in... Uh, in his name in the name of Allah he make a decision for you because he is the scholar he have the knowledge uh, he can tell you what's right what's wrong to do what not to do so this is what fatwa mean for those who do not know uh, so Sheikh Saeed Norman uh, during his interview I'm not going to play the video but I don't mind to pause the video for you uh, he said that it's not a problem at all if you are able to find out if your daughter is a female you can marry her when she is in the womb of her mother uh, the video is all over but um, I, I, I choose this one in Facebook because it is the most clear one and there's no point to play it because none of you speak Arabic anyway right after he made the fatwa as we know Egypt is not run by Muslim Brotherhood no more it's run by a kind of secular government and those who they are in charge they could not take it how stupid Islam can be so many people get angry I mean what kind of madness is madness is you want to marry a baby girl and as she is an embryo she's an embryo she's not even a baby you want to marry her to an adult man this person this creature he have no problem with that and he proved this that this is Islamic and he quote for us from a chapter 65 verse number four where it's speaking about marrying or divorcing sorry little children who they are they never have their uh, uh, they never have their menses you see my friend the Lord the Messiah he said from their fruits you shall know them from their fruits you shall know them and the fruit of this cult is beyond stupidity the fruit of this cult is beyond ugliness actually there's a guy here in Facebook he posted this in Arabic he said 
me he's talking about himself I think he is he's just joking he said me as a drug dealer I am pleased to announce to you <clears throat> that this man is not one of our products <laughs> Which mean even drug dealers will not say that. <clears throat> it's funny he's saying the guy, the, the one in the comment, he said, Me as a drug dealer, I am pleased to announce to you that this man, the sheikh, is not one of our product, which means he is not one of the drugs we we, we 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 sell to the to the crowd. This is how stupid, this is how crazy, this is how faith it is called. And you need to ask yourself, even if Muslims they say to you, we don't agree with this. Why someone with such a knowledge? He's a sheikh. He was a member of the fatwa of the Al Azhar University, which is the highest, highest uh, uh, school for Islam in the world. Which means he is, if he's not qualified to be a sheikh in the fatwa team, he would not be there. So, why he said that if this is really what it is? Do you remember when the guy he said um, another imam and he, he is the dean he is the dean of the hadith in the Azhar University the dean not a, not the teacher not the teacher the dean he said that any woman she go in the bus she have to do breastfeeding for everybody in the bus if a woman she go in the train she have to do breastfeeding for anyone in the train if a stranger come to her house she have to give him her boobs and he have to suck it ten different time and the Muslims went so crazy at that time because they are Muslims by name they never heard this before. Where you, where you got this from? And then when he got them busted, and he says, "This is what the what, what the prophet taught." It's not me. Have you ever heard of such stupid, disgusting cult like this, marrying an embryo? And he said. Well, like you know, they are trying to explain that okay. Well, in the old days, we cannot find out if it's a female or not, so we have to wait until she is born. We marry her after she is born. You remember Khomeini? Al Khomeini he said that you can have a sexual relationship with the child, she is an infant, by putting your private part between her legs. This is in the book of Al Khomeini, Tahrir al Wasila, page number 242, as I remember. Or 241 this is al Khomeini the head of the Islamic cult in Iran and this is a Sunni that one is a Shia this guy is a Sunni so Sunni and Shia both agree they are that they are two face of one coin which is the coin of the devil that you can marry either a baby girl she is just born and have sexual relationship with her without intercourse uh, like you know look how smart they are actually i saw the guy his name is muhammad hijab and i have a video i have the video i will make a video about it he said in islam there's no age for marrying a female as long the female she can handle your you know i'm not going to go in details it's okay it's halal and i have the video as long you don't do damage it's okay this is how filthy sick this cult you need to be careful we are not fighting a cult which is teaching okay let's say a different kind of moral there is no moral here we are not discussing a cult which is teaching different kind of ethic there is no ethic here there is no honor here this is a pure devilish Religion Only stupid people will accept such a religion to be their own How in the world anyone can believe in such a garbage I will post the link in Facebook again for those who speak Arabic Including the Muslims You can watch it Here we go it is in the chat feel free to watch it my friend and tell me what kind of cult you belong to what kind of satanic belief you belong to you want to marry an embryo 
Muhammad, he married a six years old girl, which is five years really, because this is Islamic calendar, which is shorter than our calendar. Muhammad, even he wish to marry an infant, an infant. That is Islam, my friend. The Sheikh is named uh, Saeed Nu'man, Sheikh Saeed Nu'man. He was a member of Al Azhar University. Uh, Al Azhar, you see, Azhar is a university and is authority in the same time. It's an official authority from the government of Islam in the world. So, if somebody even want to be executed in Egypt legally, the Sheikh of Al Azhar he have to sign or Al, -Al Mufti, the depend in the in the if, if he is the same time. Sometimes it's a Sheikh of Azhar is the same guy who is considered the Mufti of uh, all the e Egypt. Uh, he have to sign the execution of the person, which means if he don't sign, the government cannot kill him. If he did not agree with execution, no execution, which means he is the highest authority really when it's come to capital punishment. So this guy, he was a member of the fatwa uh, team for many, many years. And he is, you know, you can tell he's the person is not speaking from his pocket. He's not speaking from his pocket. It's not, it's not he's making things up. The second the guy he asked him a question about where you get this from, he started quoting for him hadith after hadith after hadith after hadith, and then he quote the Quran. My friend, ask yourself a very simple question. If there is any other source, uh, you mean other source for the video? Uh, let me see, hold on. Give me a second. Um, yeah, we can get you another source, but you know, like not all of them they are posting the the whole video. Most of them they are posting, uh, let us say, where he said that you can do that. You know, uh, this is like this is a Christian website. Um, let me post it for you. This is a Christian website. They have part of the video there. Is it working? Is it working? Anyway, I'm not going to stay here long. I just wanted to share this with you. And we will go back live on air at 3.30 again. Guys, do you like me to be at 3.30 or today is a Thanksgiving? People, they are busy with their family. What do you think? What do you think? We don't we don't call him Asa. We don't we don't have this name. This is a stupid name we never heard of. There is no Christian in the Middle East called Jesus Asa. I guarantee you that. This is an Islamic, pure Islamic name. Nobody heard of it before. We have it, we, we don't have it in our book. In Arabic, we call him Yeshua. Yeshua. In Hebrew, you call him Yeshua. Or Yeshua, you know, depend in the language because many languages they have no letters equal to the Hebrew or Arabic. So what they do, they replace certain letters. This is why the name of Jesus and to be Jesus in English, you know, because you don't have equal letters, All right? So we don't say Asa, and we do not know who is Asa, and we never heard of Asa, and we don't have one single book speaking about a person whose name is Asa. As simple as that. But most likely, Muhammad. As a professional certified donkey, he heard the name Asos from somebody Greek or somebody he presented to him the name in Greek word. So he come with his own version of it. He made it Asa. All right. But even this theory we cannot confirm, you know. But Muhammad he don't speak. Muhammad do poo poo. And so is his followers, as you see. All right, so just I wanted to share with you this is stupid uh, uh, madness and this cult, and be careful not to let a Muslim see the picture of your daughter embryo, because he might get horny. It's very dangerous. Muslims they have a special appetite, not only for women, who they are women not only for female children, but for embryo. So take a note, embryo is not safe from now on. 
it is officially an Islamic halal recipe a Muslim person he have no problem to marry from an embryo how you can marry the embryo you tell me how that can be practiced you tell me are you going to wait until the embryo became a baby my friend or you want to go inside the womb of the mother and have sex with the embryo for all the Muslims who they are watching we have here a menu of embryos you choose the age you like you like them younger we have 13 days to 28 days we have 14 days to 32 days we have 15 days to 33 we have 16 what do you want my friend which one is the size you like I understand that your prophet like them young very young so I advise you to take the one which is 13 days only how stupid and evil human being can be nobody can beat a human being with with evil nobody even wolves who they are wolves they are not evil they are just animals they do what they do what they are created for hyena they don't do that donkeys don't do that god gave us a brain so we will use this brain to think about how we can marry an embryo this is what brain for this is the most disgusting filthy teaching ever you can imagine and you be the judge not me guys i might go at 3 30 but i'm not sure because today people are busy with their family and I don't want to disturb them really from being with their family to be sitting with me but I might go at 3 30 for maybe a short time if I can if not then we will see you for sure tomorrow Friday may the Lord bless you and protect you from all evils and from the ones who want to marry in burials don't fail into the evil of the mankind because mankind is beating the devil with his evil Mankind is in competition with the devil, with the evil. Even the devil, he cannot think about such a thing. The devil himself, he have no idea how good he is comparing to those people. What a shameful cult. What a disgusting cult. May the Lord protect you all. And please, don't forget to be thankful not every not only every thanksgiving but every day those who don't think you know thanks the lord they will not deserve what the lord he gave them what is given to you will be taken from you if you don't appreciate it remember that this is a golden rule and trust me i'm very sure of what i'm talking about thanksgiving day is not a dish in the table it's not a turkey it's not a chicken it's not a food it is a day where you remember that the Lord he gave you the Lord he blessed you it is not about a food it's not even about a family every day should be a Thanksgiving day and this is why for me I have my own way of thinking about things like people they celebrate birthday I say why you celebrate birthday and said well I was born in that day my friend make yourself happy and every day will be birthday and how to make yourself happy the answer is being thankful because a person who is not thankful he will never be happy and you can think about it and you tell me if I'm wrong A person who is not thankful even if he have 10 million dollars in the in the bank he want more because he is not thankful he want more he is not happy he is short in money nothing will make him happy and nobody can make you happy for very simple reason you are not 
Thank for. The second you reach the point of being thankful is the same second you are happy. It's not about how much you own. It's about how much you appreciate. And I appreciate all of you. May the Lord bless you. Pray for your family. Pray for your neighbor. Pray for your enemy. And be thankful for the Lord. He gave us a brain which does not accept evil. Be thankful that we are not in the wrong side. Be thankful for we are following the Christ, the Lord, the Messiah, the God of good, for his name is good. Be thankful that you are not one of the, de the devil follower who was not able to be deceived. Be thankful, my friend, for the piece of bread you eat in your table. Be thankful for your health because it might be taken from you. You will not appreciate how nice to have a healthy teeth until you get pain and then you will go crazy. Very, very much most of people don't appreciate. And this is why we end with stress and depression. Then even some people commit suicide for they depart themselves from being thankful for the Lord. We thank you, Lord, for everything we have. And I thank you, especially me, for the people I have around me. May the Lord bless them and keep them safe and good health and wealth. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we see you soon again. Please, I might go in line again at 3.30. I might, not sure. But if I am, be sure you will get notification. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.